morning. Good morning, Corey. How you feeling, love? Good morning, Darren. Good morning, James. Good morning, Poetry Soul Child. How y'all feeling today? Good morning, DP. Good morning, Gwen. Good morning, Natty. Good morning, Mocha. How y'all feeling? Good morning, Mommy. I'm feeling good. How about yourself? I'm wonderful. Thank you for asking. How you feeling, Mocha? Happy Thursday. Darren, you feel great. Hey, Dingling Dan, how you feeling? <laughs> Curvy cakes, period. Good morning. I am wonderful, Pastor Jarek. How you feeling? Good morning, Pressure Pack. How you doing? Happy Thursday, okay? Remember last week we were so thirsty for Thursday because it was Thanksgiving? <laughs> Here we are, a whole nother Thursday. Hey, TP. <laughs> no problem. Thank you for joining Pressure Pack. Is this your first time here? Welcome. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. Hey, Arthur. Love you, too. James, these, these are your lips. Oh, Lord. So thank you for the follow, Pressure Pack. Appreciate you. Good morning, Lindsay. Elijah, good morning. How you feeling? You're great, Mocha. No complaints. I know that's right. Because what's the point? Pastor Jarek said he's blessed. I know that's right. Glowing so bright today, Portia. Thank you, Mr. Reese. This little lighting situation happening. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> um, <laughs> bless we both are indeed elijah we both are indeed i'm grateful good morning mama who's all here elijah good morning mr reese hey how are you hey lindsay pressure pa uh oh I'm, I'm trying to leave the live i just got here <laughs> Pressing button. Stop pressing stuff. Pressing stuff. Hey, Mocha, good morning. Hey, Absolute, good morning. How you feeling? Happy Thursday, everybody. Elijah, is this your first time with us? Not sure. But just in case it is. Has he? Okay. Good morning, Mark Man Davis. How you feeling, love? Good morning, Mark. Oh, it is. Good morning, Elijah. It is. Okay. Welcome, I think this your first time too. Welcome. Thank y'all for joining. Good day oh. from Brooklyn, Sanika. Good morning, Sanika. Good morning. Welcome. Back. Welcome. Hey, TP. How y'all feeling sure today? Say hello, TP. It is a topic Thursday, and we are here. Um, it's your first time too. Welcome, Welcome Lindsay. Welcome. Uh, they be needing a little extra attention sometimes. You know what I'm saying? It's okay. Good morning, Blossom. How you feeling, love? Mine too. Okay, Sanika, welcome. Dingaling Dan is back, Tam. Said good morning. Hey, good morning, Oh, dang, I just got here. He already was going to call me out. <laughs> Clarence. Clarence, good morning. Good morning. How you feeling, Clarence? Okay, so today oh, no, invited you. Oh, good. Well, stay a while. Okay, I love that, Mocha. We are grateful that you are here. Um, today, 
It's Topic Thursday, so the boxes are open, and we are talking about some situations that don't be so nice. So, I know the other day we said we were going to talk about stalkers, right? So, we can kind of talk about stalkers and segue into, like, some not-so-safe situations that you possibly were in. Um, and this happens to men and women, um, so let's talk about it. Come up, tell your story, tell us what happened, what, you know, led up to it. Um, I just want to be clear that, um, it's never really your fault if somebody tries to push a boundary and take advantage of you, right? Um, so <laughs> ding a ling Dan saying, I got several. ding a ling Dan is putting me in a situation where I feel uncomfortable right now. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Biggs invited me. He's so silly. Mocha, Mocha can Good you come morning. up in the box? Do, does Mocha have enough people to come up in the box? Girl, come on up in the box and tell us your situation. Tell us. Night Joe. Good morning and welcome. It's your first time. Thank you all for joining. Yes, Mocha, come on up. Tell us your story. Don't be shy. Yes. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome. Hi. Girl, yeah. you had me over here like, oh Lord, do I want to talk about them people? But talk about them. We want to know. We want to know. It's the safe environment. This came off, I might. Yeah. Might have a little grease yeah. on here. That's oh, all I'm good. Good. Well, good morning. <laughs> Hello, beautiful. Good morning. Hi. Yes. Come on here. Ooh. Uh, yes. Okay. Girl, I need to spray it. Come on for the locks, okay? Yes. We all Come about on. it. Yes. <laughs> Look, I need to be doing what you did. Oh. <laughs> this stuff me, yeah. But, um, oh, good morning, Theo. Okay. So, um, I'm going to start with the first one because I was young then. I was working at a shoe store. Mm -hmm. And this gentleman came in, and I was just being nice, doing my job, smile, helped him buy a jacket, sent him on his way. Good morning, Blossom. Didn't mm -hmm. realize that this man had got attached. He kept coming back. And I'm thinking, you know, maybe he just liked the customer service. I'll continue to help him. And one day he started calling the work phone asking for me, which I thought was weird. But I'm super nice. I'm like, okay, all right, all right. So hang up the phone, go on about my business. And then he kept coming to the store. And come to find out, one of my coworkers gave him my number for a discount on tires. What? Because <laughs> he was a mechanic. They sold your ass for some time. And that's what I said. You sold me for a discount. Not even free tires. You sold me for a discount on some tires. Oh, damn. And the man started calling my phone. <clears throat> At this time, I'm, what, 19 years old? And he would call in the middle of the night. I'd hang up. You know, still trying to be nice. And one day, he called me at work and said, what would you do if I came in and I proposed to you? My smart mouth responded, I would laugh because it would have to be a joke. He brought his butt in there with a ring, got on one knee, and proposed to me in the store. Now, what was the time frame? Like, how? <laughs> it was maybe a good three months of him calling me. But y'all weren't coming to the store. We've never no dated. Kind of We've never, like, seen store. each other outside of me being in that spot just got obsessed like yes and then when i moved from that store like i left that job some time was in between i found another job at another store mm -hmm. i'm outside pulling down the gate and a car pulls up behind me i didn't recognize it they tooted i you know did one of these numbers and it was him i was like oh mind you this location is different from the other one and another time i ran into him at a grocery store like literally ran into him, like turned the corner and ran into his chest because he was told. Might not have big... ran into him. He might have been following you. Know, you all the time. Baby, I was gone. I, I that was the end of retail for me. Um, oh, <laughs> he was going to have to find me home? someplace else because was... there was only so many places in that area. That oh, was the God. first one, and that man wanted. Yeah, he he would find me. He found me. I think he found my email and emailed me one time. Oh, thank you. But that was my first little one. I got that was my first proposal. <laughs> So it was weird. Girl. The second one was the guy I met at the Metro going to work. Seemed cool at first. Uh -huh. 
-huh. It went from that to, I want to come see you and begging on my phone to come and see me. I never let that man know where I lived at. He would leave notes on my car. Yes, like I would leave so from work. met him at the Metro. And at he the Metro. So he knew my car. Like we uh -huh. met walking into the Metro. So he would leave hey, notes on my car. He texted me one time saying, I see somebody's working late. I'm like, so you, let me start parking on the other side on another area. And then one day he was like, I, I think he said something along the lines. I said something to him. I was like, well, you don't know where I live at. He said, you think I don't know where you live at. So every time I would leave the metro, I would drive past my turn, go like, I'm like, this man comes to my house. At least then my sister was living with me. So I'm like, hey, we can jump him. I think we can take him. I, I think we can take him. <laughs> that is scary. Look, and I'm just summing these up. It was just weird stuff in between, but it was just the fact that this person literally would find my truck, leave notes, wherever my truck was, would text me and be like, you're working late. It was dark as hell that day. The way I ran to my truck, and I'm not small, the way I ran to my truck and slid in that thing and pulled off, and my advice to keep something underneath the seat. You got just you in must, case. You, yeah, because people be following you, girl. Yeah, no, we're not going to do I don't do crazy. They want, they love that, that dark chocolate, baby. They baby. That, that mocha. KVR, I never think about doing stuff like I don't know why, like especially like when I was younger and the gentleman was coming around and calling and yeah. My dad was a cop. So at that point all I'm thinking is if this man come around here, I'm gonna go tell my daddy and he gonna deal with it. But when I was older, I never thought about it. I got a quick, quick, quick thing, because Kevion, first of all, welcome everyone. If this is your first time, welcome. Thank you for following. <laughs> appreciate you guys. I'm sorry I couldn't get to everybody, but we see you. We appreciate you for being here. Um, so Kevion said something interesting, because I was looking at something on Instagram this morning about this woman um, in, a, in a custody battle with her the father of her child and she just notated that there was some physical altercation between them back in 2020 in the midst of this custody battle or whatever and um i was reading the comments and guys in the comments was like you didn't call the police so it didn't happen you didn't call the police you didn't tell the police so why are you telling us now like why are you bringing this in now and i was like it's, and it, Kevion just said that, like, well, did you call the police? Well, you didn't call the police. So, like, what? what's up with that? I want to understand the mindset of if we don't call the police when something happens to us as women, does that know and void what happened to us as women? Am I misreading this? Like, I'm not understanding because for your instances, like, what are you going to go to the police with? You don't know these men. You, I mean, the one man that was calling your work phone you could have gave his information but the other guy yeah no. i just had a number from the metro right well, if you're doing that you need a first guys. name last name address to file like those type of orders so if i'm calling the police what am i gonna say i fear for my they life because the be man like, was leaving those in my car they're gonna be like that's found i mean you just need to be safe out here get a stun gun get something like they gonna they're not gonna what what are they what are they gonna do they're not gonna follow you they're not gonna what like so what are, if you don't call the police if somebody gets physically um, abusive with you or it's like borderline stalking you, then what are you supposed to do? I mean, I don't understand the mindset. Because if we do call the police, then we're villainized for that as well. So it's like you can't win for losing. Yeah. Um, you, you call the police on a black man, like the horror. So either way, somebody would not have been cool with the way that she handled it. I mean, you you do what you think is right in the moment. And sometimes we, we're we not thinking, right? We're not thinking clearly, especially when you are afraid. Yeah. You do dumb shit when you're afraid. That's why, you know, we be saying that it's not realistic what happens in the movies. But sometimes it is because all thought, all your whole thought process and how you're usually really reasonable it leaves you when you are frightened. Um, hey, good fella. Good morning. Good morning, good fella. It's your flight or flight uh fight type of thing. The note, his fingerprints are on it. 
but you're not thinking about that when you jump in the car no. and you looking not around mention, like where is he you're right, not, not thinking. to mention a crime hasn't been committed it's not a crime scene that's the only time that they're going to call somebody to come out to fingerprint and that's the main that's the most major thing they're like well did they touch you did right they do this? did they do that okay well there's nothing we can do at this point it's simple harassment exactly and even to people even to people that have been engaged in relationships with others uh, for a long time and it turns into like a stalker situation they would just say a simple harassment it's nothing we can do to stop this person unless they come into your home unless they do like and you can have proof of all of these things look at the call laws look at this they always everywhere i go the police are not going to do anything because they have not committed a crime yeah. And it's like that little loophole. Seriously, like it's nothing they're gonna do. So, I, and then like Tam said, we're not thinking about. Let me go to the police um, in the moment of something happening. We're just trying to survive in that moment. Right, uh, if y'all remember the incident, not to I, I don't, I mean, disappear. Sorry, baby. Yeah. <laughs> um, I was just getting ready to say, I don't know if y'all remember the incident because even though it happened here locally, it made like national news. There was a young lady that worked at a, um, I think it was a T-Mobile. It was some um, wireless cell phone store and she worked there. She had um, a stay away order against her boyfriend, baby daddy, ex something. Um, and it was just sitting on someone's desk and it was never served to him. And he came into her store where she was working and yes, threw gasoline on her and set her on fire on her job. And so, you know, while we're saying, oh, did you call the police? Sometimes that doesn't even help us. It's if somebody wants to get you, they probably will. But also a lot of times they don't take our um, cries seriously. Like we're we're saying this man is dangerous. I'm afraid. And they're like, oh, well, he haven't. Did he put his hands on you? Well, no, but he said he would. Like, <laughs> you know, what I mean? He didn't do anything yet, so it it didn't. It's there's nothing they can do. They don't yeah, even remember to say DP money is local to me, so he said he remembers that. Oh, okay. DP money also said, "Do we still have stalkers these days?" Absolutely. Um, yes, people are crazy. DP said that's sad that they don't do something until it's too late, and that's usually how it works. DP, unfortunately. Um. Her. Oh yeah. Okay. He he was just saying. But what if we was white? Exactly, Kevion. That would be a whole different scenario. Okay. Um, Theo said you have to have a lot of evidence to prove they need to get involved. Exactly. And why do I have to collect all this evidence in order for y'all to take some action? I'm telling you that I am in danger for my life. Like, I don't understand what else there needs to be said. Um, DP said, that's why my sister and daughters have me. I ain't waiting. Oh, Lord. DP. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Um, and that was, that was another point that Kivion had made earlier that maybe um, if you would have told, you could have told somebody that you know that this guy was doing this to you at the Metro, maybe they might have known him or whatever. Just put people on notice. And I get that. I get that, too. Um I think we can put people around us on notice, but again, like everybody be living their life and nine times out of 10, I mean, DP, I don't know if you would have went up to the Metro with her. Like I'm gonna meet you there a couple of days a week. So they know, he knows you got a like, man in your life. Man in your life that, you know what I'm saying? Maybe that type of situation. Um, but I don't know if you did have anybody in your proximity Mocha to even show up for you like that um and sometimes we don't like and my also, we have... don't want to be vic we don't want to be made to feel bad about a past incident and how we responded that doesn't necessarily mean that's how we would respond today but we're we're talking about past situations and maybe we didn't um make the right choice at that time but we'll you know when you know better you do better um, so give us advice, but don't criticize what we did not do right. You know, just let us know some steps we might 
be able to take because a lot of times people will know things about the law that you might not necessarily know and then so we can help each other this is why we have these discussions to help each other yeah thank you so much um darren for the gifts everybody for the gifts dp money said i was in college at that time i want to do to be my roommate oh um darren said i had a preacher <laughs> wife to stalk me darren tell us your story <laughs> Caroline, I don't I'm believe you. Okay, okay. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you for joining us. No problem. And thank real quick so to address, I think um, somebody they were saying something about calling people. I used to call people on the phone while I was going to my car, just okay. so they would know, like, hey. And then mm -hmm. the other comment, I have a concealed carry now for a reason. Hello? I understand. See? That's right. what I'm yeah, saying. I understand protecting yourself. Even before that, I would have other things. Like, I have non-lethal things that'll put you mm -hmm. down, too. Yeah. So, okay. yeah, no, definitely, it teaches you a lesson. It teaches you to be, you know, more, I guess, observing of your surroundings and to protect okay. yourself. Because, yeah. again, Absolutely. at the end of the day, you got you. So I, I thank you for um coming up and sharing with yeah. us because, yeah. um, if anything, it could help someone else. Um, these discussions we hope are going to help others. I know it's going to help me, child, because. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, I thank you for with us. Stay with back. us, okay? Yes, yeah, stay around and come back. Um, thank you so much, good fella. I saw you going off, period. Lindsay said, unfortunately, <laughs> and by the time the police act, they are unalive is sad clarence said all i need is a little paper trail for the sake for my sake about my kids because i tell the police i did something when they didn't okay i hear you clarence okay. Lindsay also said i keep that heat on me and my lady and or my daughter say somebody's stalking them period dp money said that's what i said you women have to protect yourselves mm -hmm. yes um unfortunately good morning katie the snake king how you feeling love hey, katie. Um, a lot of men be cowards putting their hands on women for nothing. It's true. DP Money said. Yes, they do. Um, good morning, Tawanda Brown Johnson. How you feeling, love? I Thank wonder. You. Hello. This your first time. Thank y'all. Everybody. We appreciate you joining and coming in the conversation. This is Topic Thursday. And today we are talking about stalkers and um, semi bad situ well bad situations that you have found yourself in from either stalker situations or um, things, somebody you may have been with before and it escalated to like a stalker or a dangerous situation. So tell your story. It's a personal happened. story, but you know of a story. Yeah, you Shoot know with us. The boxes yeah. are open. Yeah. Hey, Lindsay. Everybody knows something. Good morning, ladies. How are you? Hey, you, what's up? Wonderful, how about yourself? So I'm all right. I'm all right. Um, I got a story and then I got something to say too. black women, never black women report a lot of things, but they never, ever, it never gets a follow through. And it's unfortunate, um, that black women, black women get stalked a lot. I know a lot of stories. So it's a, it's unfortunate that when black women call for help or call for, you know, certain situations, they don't get that attention. But, you know, a white woman walking her dog in the park, you know, feeling, you know, intimidated by somebody, you know, they over there and come see what's going on. Yeah. But let a black woman be like, well, this man is stalking me and he looks like he finna do something. Yeah. Well, did he actually do something? No. That it's sad. It's really, really sad that black women don't get that uh, attention like they should when you know danger is around. But um, also, I had a stalking incident where I was a stalker, but I didn't know I was a stalker. You, you didn't were know, a so stalker. You didn't know. I had a. I had a, a. I was stalking. Let me tell you what happened. So I have an incident where I was stalking and I got stalked. So the stalking that I did was I was with this older woman. Mm -hmm. I had been about maybe 21. 
Mm-hmm. Older women got a situation, and, you know, they put things on you. They put that root on you. So uh, she put that root on me. She put the root on me. And, uh, yeah, I was calling her. I was showing up at her job. I was uh, looking for her with a flashlight during the daytime, <laughs> you know, things of that nature. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, yeah, I was doing a little too much. And then she told me she wasn't mean about it. She wasn't rude. She called me up and she told me, she was like, baby, you stalking. You can't, you can't do that. That's not, that's not a good look. So, you know, she told me, I was like, okay, I don't want to be no weirdo. Let me, let me chill out. So, yeah, that was my with an older one boy she man anyway so i have an incident yeah yeah I'm, I'm being completely honest i was a very young man she put that that old woman thing on me and uh y'all know what i'm talking about y'all don't don't act like y'all don't know <laughs> Blossoms and uh cool, yeah i was i was mesmerized i was mesmerized yeah, I ate the spaghetti. I ate the CP. I ate the spaghetti. She did make spaghetti. See that day. Yes, we always be but, making um, spaghetti. I got an incident. Yeah, y'all always make spaghetti. My mama told me about that, but I don't listen. I'm hard headed. Oh, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> but I got an incident uh where I was being stalked. So I got with this woman. And we was doing our thing. And I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, I don't like to toot my own horn, but I'm going to be a little gross real quick. I put a little tongue on her. Okay. Uh, and she was liking it. She was loving it. And, uh, yeah, she was, she was doing a little too much. She was calling my granny house. And uh, oh, wow. one day I went outside to go to work. She was sitting outside. Uh it, it just got weird. She even came. One time I came in the house and she was sitting in the house with my granny. Mm-hmm. I don't even know. I don't know. I don't know. It was weird. But yeah, it got a little too weird. But yeah, those are my incidents. Those are my situations. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go on mute. I'm going to let y'all go ahead and marry. Karen. <laughs> and he gave her that ooty wally wally ooty bang bang. Period. Um, listen, she wanted to get you your PS4. Poor oh. Lord Jesus. Uh, I, I would have took the PS4. I mean, and she would have been stalking you even harder. She next time she wouldn't have been sitting on Granny couch. She would have been at dinner table or in the kitchen. Yeah, Make, yeah, yeah. You right. You right. Making spaghetti. Right. Making spaghetti. Lord Jesus. Yeah, what is it with y'all and spaghetti, man? What y'all always y'all be asking spaghetti? for spaghetti because y'all some niggas and y'all always be asking for spaghetti. <laughs> and then y'all be upset when y'all get the spaghetti. I don't understand. I mean, the spaghetti do be good, though. <laughs> with some bread, Kevion said, I cannot. Get your bread. <laughs> um yeah well that that you was you was whipped on the first occasion and, and it had you um yes yes crazy um yes. But that's what happens when you put that thing on them uh blossom said earlier she Man, I, I, so yeah it was a whole thing good morning jacory how you feeling love Jacory. garlic bread to be more specific exactly blossom I asked for pinto beans or pig feet. Darren, you are so good. the pig free. feet. Every sir, day you sir, bring up pig country. feet. Darren, what is it with the pig feet, man? It's disgusting. I, um, I hope you're doing more than hanging in there, Ja'Cory. Um, We know that this is a difficult time of the year for some. Um, so we rooting for you. We praying for you. Um, Shelly to love, thank you for thank the follow. You, this is your first time here. Welcome. <laughs> Appreciate you for being here. That is a country for DP money. Jesus. Um, I know that those two are not the only people with 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 these type of scenarios. Who? I I know these two aren't the only ones, but with these type of scenarios. Absolutely not. In the box. 
Absolutely not. And Darren is a musician, so I kind of believe him to my the preacher wife was after him. I ain't gonna hold you. Them people in the church. They, they, they them church people nasty. That's all I'm gonna say. They be on it. Nasty. Good morning, nasty. Alpha. My first. Good morning, Alpha. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, my Lord, first was a church girl. That's all I'm gonna say. My your first, first was a love? Church girl. Oh, your first. My first everything. Come tell us your story. Come tell us your story. You wanna hear, you, you, you. Wait, hold oh. on. We trying to get Corinne up in the box. Give us one second. I'm gonna drop down. I'm gonna drop down. I'm gonna... You don't have to drop. Just hold on. <laughs> they can. They can hear. Mocha said a youth, oh, a youth minister tried to get me when I was a kid. You have to watch the saints for sure, Mocha. Trying to tell you. The saints and the ain'ts. Hey. Come on, tell us your story, girl. So I tried to date somebody older this year. Only 10 years older, not much. Mm -hmm. I'm 28, he was 38. So I was being hot in the tail and... uh. <laughs> went over his house and did some things and then when I wanted to break up with him he was messaging me on different platforms for over a month and kept trying to call me and wouldn't stop so oh god yeah um y'all be careful in the comments because Corinne is my stepdaughter oh <laughs> <laughs> y'all don't go too hard <laughs> Really? So he just wouldn't let it alone. Cause no. you, what? What did you give him? You? He was giving old girl to Uchi Wally, and when you was doing what? I gave the Gok Gok three thousand. <laughs> Korea, you gave him the Gok Gok three thousand with the Twister Wizard. Yes. Oh. 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 Yeah. Yeah. I asked. That's what I get. That's what I get. You can't. You can't. Right, I can't tell y'all. You, you can't give Thank everybody you, all the the treatments and tricks and stuff. Cause especially if you ain't even really feeling them like that, he ain't, he ain't worth that. Don't. Yeah. Yeah. She said she took it so. Listen. Um. I. 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 I, I will tell y'all that you gotta be careful how much you give and to who. Exactly. For real. Hey Portia, how you doing, love? Hey uh, Portia, y'all be out here so snatching though. Y'all, y'all be out here so snatching, and so I mean just on world. the first, on the first go round, y'all be so snatching. And then you Carissa, wonder why we be over here. So you know what? Corinne said, "I learned my lesson. I was scared as fuck." <laughs> <laughs> She was like, oh my God, he, he's looking for me everywhere. Um, you do have to be careful. I mean, it's it's, it's sometimes it's difficult because um you you don't always know how to pull back. You know, you you wanna um excel at everything. I like to be the top students always. So, you know. Oh my. It's that spirit of excellence that you just can't get away from. Um, some of us really enjoy it, so it's hard not to show it. Exactly, Mocha, exactly. but that's what I'm saying. Like, everybody not deserving of that. I don't know what to tell y'all, but y'all can't be out here soul snatching and you don't really want them. Like, what are we doing? It's like, get over here. <laughs> who wants Toby number two? Oh, who wants to be number two? I was like, who is Toby? Right? I would show like who is Toby too. It's like, I don't know. <laughs> that knowledge for real. For real, for real. Um, Kevion says stalkers see themselves as the victim of being led on or told with. Toy with. I'm sorry. I don't know why I said toy. But Butterfly said good morning. Hey, little Butterfly. I do it just because I can. Alpha, I bet you do. We bet you do. We bet you do. What that Glock Glock 3000 is while I ain't no kids here. Let me let me know, friend. Jacory. You don't know what it is? 
You know what? You know what that is. He knows. How old is Jacory? Maybe he what don't that know. Is. Shelly, with the twi- you with the twi- car. Shelly, somebody on the most story, Shelly. Girl, get up here and tell us your story. <laughs> Ja'Cory, you know exactly. You ain't been sitting up in church your whole life and don't know nothing. Got um earmuffs on. Shelly, get on up in this box and tell us your story. You don't have to get on the camera. Mama got a story. Oh, yeah, child. She acting shy. She gon' she gonna... Mama, get on in here and tell us this story. Women, we know after the first time we go together, Lord Jesus. Yeah, I was just about to say that. Uh, I'm gonna tell you right now. You give me, you give me the God God three thousand with the Twister Wizard. We go together. I am moving in. I have my clothes packed already. I have my toothbrush, my soap. Uh, Hold on, Lizzie. Hold yeah. on, Lizzie. Hold on, Lizzie. Shelly, you you shy? You don't want to get in the box, girl? Come on now. We want to hear this story. Mama, tell, just tell us. Oh, you ain't got to You ain't gotta get on camera. Just tell us. She says she's shy. You don't got to turn your camera on, girl. Get on up here and tell us the story. All right. Tell it in the comments. It's okay. <laughs> yes. Good morning, Sky Bear. How you doing? So I'm on. Keep me on. You shy? I don't believe you. Um, J Music said hello, happy Thursday after party in chat. How you doing, J Music? Thank you for tuning. Hey. Do not let them use the pink cake frosting. What are you talking about, DP Money? What pink cake You're frosting? Should I go get some pink cake frosting? Right. Good morning. Is this your first time with us? Welcome. <laughs> Appreciate you guys. Appreciate you guys. Yes. Oh, Sky Bear, you coming to tell your story Uh-oh. of a stalker situation? Hey, thank you, Lindsay. Good morning, thank ladies. You, Good morning, Lindsay. Good morning, chat. Hey, Sky Bear, what's hey, going on? Okay, I do have one really quick story. Hi, I've had a- hey, boo. Um, I've had a couple of people that couldn't let go, but one in particular, I had to call the police for. Um, yeah, so I was moving out of my place and I was renting a basement from his sister <clears throat> and, um, I decided to move. I was breaking it off. I was like, we're done or whatever. So I had packed my stuff up or whatever, trying to get up out of there. I got to my new spot and I, you know, stayed the night, didn't unpack anything. Next day I started unpacking stuff and I'm putting away my clothes and putting away my shoes. And I'm like, why I keep finding one one left shoe to all my shoes? Where the heck is the rest of them? Yo, this man took one right shoe of every shoe that I had and hid them when I wasn't there. So I had to go back to the house, call the police, because he was like, he didn't know what I was talking about. The police get there. He like, what's going on? I explained to him. He laughing. The officer, I said, sir, it's not funny. This stalker dude gonna say, officer, I wasn't gonna let her just leave. She was gonna limp out my life. So yeah, yeah, it get real shoe. We call him Al Bundy to this day because he was on some shoe stuff, and I had to get all my shoe. He kept bringing it out the house, each right shoe, one one by one to give to the officer. Every time I said, "Where the pink one?" He go in there and get the pink one. Where my Tim's? He go and get my Tim's. It was a mess, y'all. It was a mess. Y'all stay woke out here in these streets. Drop me blocking. <laughs> He said, "If she leaving, it's going left. It's going left." <laughs> he was definitely upset. One, one of each of the shoes. That is all the right super shoes. petty. All the right yes, shoes. Mocha. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna tell the story. It's not. It's not about me. Um, but I'm gonna tell the story. Um. My aunt, God rest her soul, she's gone. But my aunt, she was married and they were separated and she had started dating someone else. And um, the ex-husband broke into her apartment and bleached all of her clothes. 
all of her clothes. She came home to this very strong scent of bleach and went and th and I'm t these was like older people. I say my aunt. I was probably um 18 at the time, so they was close to 40. He yeah, he broke up in there and bleached all of her clothes and when she got home everything was just in a pile in the floor in her closet. Y'all may be tripping. Definitely, if y if I can't have you, no one can. Type, what is happening? Bleach your clothes as well. He better have bought her a new wardrobe. Period, Korean. Okay, he got Corrine. that. I don't think he ever did. It was um, Karen. It was on Irene. <laughs> Strong soul tie. Come on, Darren. Darren, what are you doing? Come in this box. Come get in my box. Wait, can okay. we read Shelly's um? story she put it in the chat she did? i didn't see it i'm sorry she did you scrolling back i'm scrolling back she said hold on she said i was in my 20s and i had a one night stand and when i tried to ghost the man he tried to run me over that's wild so that means he was sitting somewhere in the parking lot like waiting for you to come outside Yikes. Yeah. Yeah. Alpha, you don't have no stalkers. Good fella. Good fella. You ain't got no stalkers? I know y'all do. I know y'all do. Wow, Shelly. I'm sorry that happened. Uh, but I'm glad that you're here today to tell the story. Okay. Absolutely. Get away from that psycho person, because who got time? Not I. Had. Okay, as in past. That's why she started her celibacy journey. Wow. Oh wow. Um, Jay Jay Music said he got a few. Come on up and tell us. Girl. Hey, good fella. What you got for us? <laughs> good morning. How you doing? I'm amazing. How are you? How are you? I'm good. I'm well. I'm well. I I don't have no I don't have no story. I just I just wanted to say good morning. That's all. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the, I, I, I don't I don't have no stalker stories because you know I I haven't been in situations like that. So uh, you know I can't I, I can't add to the conversation, but uh I understand everybody else's point. That's why I said in the note in the uh, comments, I'm taking notes. But no, nah, I don't. Look nah, at yeah, have yeah, yeah. Mocha, 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 Mocha said, "Come on, beard." Mocha, 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 Mocha. I'll, I'll show off anytime. I, I'll show off anytime as long as uh. Well, um, mommy yeah. asks, "Have you been the sucker, <laughs> Bella?" Uh, no, my father would have killed me. My, I was raised differently. No, it, it, I've, I've seen I've seen my mother and father have uh, disputes and stuff. But the one thing that I always saw my dad, he always said, "Son," he said, "If you get too angry, or if there's something that's bothering you," he said, "Walk away." Now I've actually witnessed my dad walk out of the house, walk down the street, be gone for a little while, come back. And have a conversation. So you know he 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 showed by example those particular things. But nah, those type of things lead to problems. The way my life is set up, I don't I don't want problems. There's too many good things in the world to be dealing with shit like that. So nah. Agreed. Agreed. DP said uh, someone that kept flattening his tongue. Jesus. Jesus. But uh, I, I do have one question before, you know, uh, uh, I, I walk out and everything. Uh, Tam, uh, I, I love to eat. What 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 do you put in your spaghetti sauce? Oh, oh, something else. Jesus. Jesus. Uh, Por Portia, that that comes after the spaghetti. Okay. I'm just wondering what you put okay. in your sauce. Clarity. Clarity. You 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 can you can answer that later. I, I understand, but you you can call me and answer that. Later. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> Big J help. Don't do that because people thinking the same thing. I know you would. I was, was kind of thinking it too. I was like, wait, what's going on? <laughs> we were all thinking. happy birthday. <laughs> Speaking of which, today is Courtney's birthday. She's 30 oh, on the 30th. My baby. Oh, it's her golden birthday. Happy birthday, Courtney. Yeah. Birthday. I'll post. Um, I'm gonna post as soon as I get off of here. That's my baby's birthday. Oh, um right. yes, he oh shit. I don't know if he's supposed to say his real name on here, but anyway. <laughs> Jamie was saying, yeah, the flat tires was my problem. And she cut my tail like wires. Yep, oh, I finally wow. called her earlier one morning. That's crazy, DP. Michael always dropping the damn mic. He definitely do drop the mic and drop. Like, who does that? Michael. Rashid's in Jamaica. He does always do that. It's, um, it's, on, uh oh, here comes Alpha. Hey, Alpha. What's up, baby girl? Oh, shit. What's going on, boss? Hey, Alpha. How you doing? <laughs> Anything copacetic? Here you. Um, I'm gonna need blossoms to stop trying to put me up here. You know what I mean? Try to try to put me out there like that. Like I just out here just got stalkers left and right. Yeah, but you do. So tell us the story. Exactly. <laughs> I really don't, man. Like, I really don't. Besides the TikTok stalkers I had, like, that's it. Oh, I'm tell us what about the first. Um. So basically, on my old page, like when I was at like 20K, mm -hmm. um, I had a, quite a few people, like, what, they were in imaginary, delusional relationships with me. They said they, they met my kid and all this and all that. And I'm like, yo, who the fuck are you? I don't even know you. And so they were like, so they would literally send messages to my friend, talking, you don't deserve Alpha, you don't deserve to be his friend, you don't, like, all this rah-rah shit. And my friends just tell him, like, who the fuck are you? <laughs> <laughs> so. Oh, that's, that's crazy. Yeah, uh, it was crazy. Um, yeah, it was crazy. But also, I would like to know, more of the backstory because I feel like there's not a port there's an important element. I mean because on my on my old page I used to do like live demonstrations and uh, stuff like oh, so that. Oh, you was edging them and then they was no, like, I wasn't edging hey. them. I was just giving demonstrations and showing you know my equipment and stuff like that and how to use the equipment. Wow, um, so that felt like Y'all go together bad. Real bad, apparently. And I'm just like, who the fuck are you? So, like, like I used to have, like, people snap me shit. I'm like, yo, who the fuck are you? I don't even know you. Then I used to get on live and talk about it. I said, yo, somebody sent me a video with they, with they shit look, look like that. It's, it's, like, blown out. Like, it got, like, 2,000 miles on it. And I don't want to see that. Oh, oh God. Why would you oh. say that? Because I'm like, I didn't, I don't like stuff like that. <laughs> if I ain't, if, if we ain't on that type of level, don't send me no shit like that. Oh, Lordy. Because, like, I'm going like, to talk about you, like, for real. That's like, that's like if a dude send you a, a pic yes. and we you ain't ask that. for it. We don't want that. Yeah, so I don't want to see your... You know, sad sock titties. Like, I don't want to see that shit. <laughs> like, Thanks, Alpha. Um, no, I'm just saying, like, people, like, like back then, they think, like, that's all I was about. I was, I was like, nah, man, like, first, I'm a man first. Two, right. I'm a dad second, you know what I mean? Yeah. And then it's Alpha. But don't be sending me that shit, man. Like, I'm not... A thirsty dude, right? You know, right. yeah, yeah. Well, no. clearly you need to be thirsty because you have talkers. I mean, no, I got you. Oh shit! <laughs> there you go. Um, <laughs> but it's it's crazy, like like 
Like men get it too. That's all I'm gonna say. They definitely yeah. do, and that's what I was saying. Like Justin, Justin actually, you know what? I do got one. I do got one. Okay, I do. Go have, ahead. I do have a good story. So, around when I was 29, I used to work at this house. I can't say who. But I used to work at this house. The man's wife used to make passes at me every day. Like, she used to um, come down in the kitchen and, like, this sheer see-through, like, road. And I'm, like, and I'm in the kitchen just cooking. I'm, like, nope. Nope. And so, like, and she'll sit at, they had, like, this island, like, this uh 10-foot island. And she'd just sit there, like, drink her coffee while I'm cooking and just, you know, in the see-through and, and, and the see-through, like, shit. I'm like, nope, mm-mm. So then she should, like, like come behind me and, like, put her her tatas on my back and, like, excuse me, excuse me, like, trying to inch past me. But it's like, this wasn't no small kitchen. They had a big-ass house. So I'm like, nah, man, nope. So one day, uh, he hired me to cook at night. Um like to cook them like dinner because he said he was going to be late and like the night chef can't uh, come in. I was like, all right, cool. You know, I'll do it. And he paid me double the money. So I'm like, bet. That's a, that's a good bag right there. So he was at this meeting and um, I knew it was a setup, but she asked me to bring her food up to her. Lady was in that joint. All and up, like so. I just did some jailhouse shit and just slid the food <laughs> for the dough. I was like, nope, uh, uh-uh. uh, nah, no, 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 no. I, ain't, I ain't doing this. Like, nah, nah, but she, like, she was yeah. like, she was trying. Good fella said you got set up, and that's what I was thinking. I was thinking that you were actually hired to become a part of their community. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't like raw chicken. I'm oh, gonna put shit. it like that. Oh, okay, got it. I don't like raw chicken. I don't mm-hmm. like, I don't like no cream in my coffee. Oh, well, okay. Well, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, it was definitely, uh, damn near transparent. Like, I don't see why they was out there trying to sunbathe and it wasn't helping. Oh, but, um, <laughs> oh, God. But she used to like, she she used to try hard. I mean, hard. And I just I just wasn't giving in. But like the, from what so like from what the maid told me is she used to like the last chef they had. They used to mess around and stuff. I was like, man, I ain't on that type of level. Yes, God, we heard hard. We heard that. Mm-hmm. Yes, Shelly. Um, we I think we all think it's the same thing. Yeah. Right, Mojo. Yeah. She likes some dark meat. Why you come out? You don't want no unseasoned chicken. No. It's that dark. No, <laughs> she didn't get it. She didn't get it. Babe. Um. Hey, y'all. Thank y'all so much. This is the After Party Podcast with your host is Sam and Portia, and our initials are CAP. So we like to say tap that. So tap, tap, tap all over the screen. I am the host today. So tap on the host box. Um, we have a 30 day day like and go. We are at 16.7. We're here Monday through Friday from 9 to 11 Eastern. So today is topic Thursday, and we're talking about stalker situations or, um, you know, dangerous situations that you have been in. It don't have just happen to women. It happens to men as well. So let's talk about it. Tell us y'all stories. Let's let's. Let's have some conversation concerning all of these things, okay? Have you ever been a stalker? Have you ever been stalked? Like, what's going on? I mean, okay. stalking, I mean... I mean, did you hear Lindsay's story? Lindsay gave a great example that an older woman put it on him and that baby was looking for her. He was out here looking for her. And um, she told him, baby, you stalking. Like, you're doing too much. Calm down. Um, oh, and- well, yeah, in that case, then, yeah. I did have that. I didn't have a situation like that. See? 
Like, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna try to say this tick, most TikTok friendly as I can. Um, it was an older woman. It was an older woman. I was in my in my early twenties. She was like in her forties. And um, basically, like, what? It was a long time before, you know what I mean, got, got together, but um, I just straight put it down on her. Like, I just went straight savage on her. Like, she was a victim of, you know, of the of the uh, backlog, put, put it like that. And I just unleashed everything built up on her. <laughs> Do what you do. So, I thought it was just, you know, I knew what it was. She just wanted some young meat, and I was the one going to give it to her. Fuck it. So, you know, I ain't naive to the game. So, like, all right, cool. I get this random text, like, like a week later. It was like, you hungry? You know, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, nah, I'm good. You know, it was just a one-time thing. Shot to show up. At my uh, at my football game. Fuck, fuck, you doing here? You know, like. Oh lord. What the fuck? Like, what the fuck going on? <laughs> and so I get back to my house. She pull up at the house. So I said, I need that thing again. I was like, Nah, nah, we good. Like, you know. Mhm. She was like, Let me come inside. I'm like, Nah. I'm good, like you know. She said some what? You don't want me no more. You just gonna, you just gonna do do those things to me, and you don't think we we gonna, blah blah blah. I buy you this, I buy you that. I was like, no, nah, I don't need your money. We we good, like I'm good. Let's go ahead about your business. Oh. And she was like, so then, here's the here's the here's the twister, right? So I had to go with my mom's to this uh event. And um, these people was was looking for a chef, and she said, "You know, my son could cook." You know, so I said, "All right, mom. You know, I'll help you out. Go to the event with her. Help the people out in the kitchen." And my mom come in and said, "Hey, I want you to meet my friend." The woman was on my phone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so she was like, "Yeah." She said, "I seen him around. I know him very well." I'm like, "Oh shit!" So she said that to your mama. Yeah, and my, my mom didn't know. She, she, like, I was like, "Yeah, I met her, you know, earlier, you know, tonight, blah blah blah, in passing." And so when, when my mom walked away, I was just like, "Yo, what the fuck?" Like, "Yo, you gotta chill." <laughs> It was a whole toxic situation. She was about to be your mom. Oh, my mom, my mom, my mom already knew how it was. Like, my mom ain't, ain't, she already knew. She ain't, she, my mom already knew what it was. Like, okay. hey, hey, um, good morning, um, Eli, Jesus. This is, um, yeah. But it was funny. It was like it was like one of those just like, oh fuck, like for real. I, I thought I got rid of you. And it was like, damn. Yeah, with your mama. Lord Jesus. But long story short, she ain't she ain't stalking for long. It was, you know. She kinda got over. It. Yeah. Uh, oh. but, yeah, my twenties was, was was crazy. Thank God you made it out. Okay. Oh, I don't worry, man. I, I just didn't want that misery shit to happen, you know, because I was like, yo, if I would have, you know what I'm saying, let her in, I don't know what would have happened, but, like, Charlotte was, Charlotte, Charlotte was cuckoo. Justin. Justin said, Pastor's screen like Sunday Jones. Yeah, I said, we got to act okay. Mute for a second, talking to the
I had a few Jay Hardaway said, uh, Jay Music said, when you have them pass by and yell out the window, you know it's crazy, for sure. Mommy is here. She don't want to be seen on camera, but her okay. voice, she's right here. Mommy want to tell her stalker story. Mommy. Tell us, Mommy. I'm going to go ahead and drop, though. Okay, thank you, Alpha. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Girl, stop trying to talk all <laughs> I'm finna talk like Tam. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Hello. Hello, everybody. <laughs> I was dating this guy. No, I'm not. I can't. Not the sexy voice. <laughs> I'm sorry, Tam. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so when I was working at the book company, which was, that was my primary job that I worked for over 20 years, I, I was working in the warehouse first. Mm -hmm. So this security guard, we had a, a, a what you call it, they, they had different sec security guards that worked at the front desk, you know, to check people when they come in and out or whatever, so to make sure they don't have books or whatever. So this one security guard, I started talking to, and um, I think he was kind of slow, elevated, and go all the way up to the top or something. I don't know, but I could get his money, anything, anything. He would give me anything. So I ended up sleeping with him because I was kind of a wild child back then. And I ended up sleeping with him. So he stayed with his girlfriend and, and their kids. And the next day, he showed up at my house with his TV, all his clothes, everything in the back seat of his car. We stayed on Keystone. He, he showed up with everything. And I'm like, why are you here? He's like, I'm going to move in with you. I was like, no, you're not. You're not going to move in with me. No, that was just, you know, because I had many people that I was messing around with. He wasn't nothing to me. I was just getting his money. So, you know, <laughs> Sleep with him. I did sleep with him, but yeah, but he was like, he showed up with everything in the back seat of his car. I'm like, no, you can't stay here. So then he like, you know, went back home, you know, whatever. Like, so I kept seeing him at work every day like that. And he kept, you know, trying to come at me. I was like, no, I, you know, can't do this or whatever like that. So he ended up not being assigned to that job anymore. Nothing that I told on him or anything like that. He just was not, I guess he got itself assigned somewhere else. But then years later, when they promoted me to the office, he came back, it was like maybe seven years later, he came, He was back and he was at that front desk and I seen him and like he was, this. hey, I was like, why are you here? I was like, why are you here like that? He's like, oh, I started back working at this location. I want to take you out. I was like, no, no, I'm not out. And that, at that point I was at, uh, uh, my illness had really kicked in really bad then. So I was like, really like, I wasn't the same person I was that seven years ago when I messed with him. So mm -hmm. he was like, he's still trying to, uh, you know, come on strong like that. And then I reported him to my office manager and told them and they got rid of him. That's the end of the story. <laughs> <laughs> That's the end of the story. He I lost his job. He, Fucking right with me. <laughs> he wore biking shorts. Where? Biking shorts. One day we was at the park, me and Felicia, we was playing tennis. And he came up there, followed us there with some biking shorts on. I'm like, oh, He no. wanted you to know what he was working with in case you forgot. He was slow. Felicia so said he sleeps on the spectrum or something. I don't know. What was <laughs> <laughs> but that's my stalking story. That was like, but you know, it be kind of scary at some point. Yes. Like that stuff is serious. Like it I is. didn't take it serious back when I when was younger, but when I, you know, got promoted to the office, I had, I was a different person. I, you know, then I had an illness going on. It was kind of scary. So that's why I reported him to the manager because he was scaring me. Yeah. And so that, that, that got kind of serious. Then. But yeah, that's yeah. Instead of being circling scary. back like that, that is scary. That's scary. Yeah, that's scary. So the I, music man yeah. said he had that seven year itch. <laughs> First of all, my, I want to preface say this. My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. Period. <laughs> I want to preface this as my mother, like she said, she's disclosed this before. Uh, my mama was acting like a ninja out here. She man. had ninjas on the roster. Do you hear me? <laughs> like she used to rotate these ninjas. Like that was what she did. And that's why I ain't got nobody now. Oh, God. <laughs> Lord okay. Jesus. She, the lesson is do not rotate the niggas. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. so, 
Uh, she was but not. Also rotate them. <laughs> also ro Listen, she was young and living her life. Okay, yeah. she wasn't tying down to nobody. No, I wasn't. Uh, she was out here living her best life. Um, but yeah, no, that's you end up with some situations like that at times, like mother, like daughter. No, Big J him. No, she was nothing like me. Mm -mm. No, I was not. I first of all, I was super scary and. Um, my mama and my family didn't play that. I was raised in church and I was supposed to be saved until marriage. That was, that's what they told me. I didn't know her life until I got older. Right. Uh, but that's the reason why she wanted you to save yourself because she know what she had done. A lot of the times our parents um, right. teach us or are real strict on us because of the things that they have done and or experienced in life. Yes. Right. Yeah, so that was, that was my experience. I'm not that experienced like mama was i'm trying to be now but uh oh my god <laughs> oh my god now that i know better uh shelly said secret life lord jesus no shelly <laughs> do what i say and not as i do exactly absolutely exactly. absolutely exactly uh hey jay you know you got um stalker stories because yeah, i told cause i told everybody that you had that woman on your post talk about Y'all was going at it. Shit, she came on TikTok. She tried. Uh, she already blocked on Facebook. She came on. She sent me another request on Instagram. Like I'm gonna be stupid to accept you on Instagram. I just wouldn't do it. Then about a month and a half later, she recently sent me a post. Like man, man, that's that's hook up for me. Yeah. I'm like hell no, I ain't doing that. No, you crazy. It's all for the whole no. joke. Right. Uh -uh. I don't know what you did to her. Yeah, what you do to her? Just get away. Well, that, that's some personal stuff, but you know. <laughs> but um, I had a few. I had a few encounters like that. It was another lady I used to mess with, and I, you know, I kind of, kind of grew to like her. We met at the bar, the spot in Chicago called um, Jimmy's. Back in the day. And, uh, you know, I went on and stayed in contact. Now, she did tell me she had a situation. I'm like, well, you know, I'm young and wild. Don't give a shit. So, eventually, we linked up. Why this woman used to pop up at bars I'm at? She in the suburbs, south suburbs. I'm in the city. Come knock on the window and walk away. I'm like, what the hell? What? That's scary to me. Yeah. She would knock on the window and then lay down like, yeah, I saw you at the bar. I'm like, I didn't, I, you asked me why I met, so you come all the way to the city to knock on the window and walk away? I'm like, you're nuts. So I stopped messing with her too. You know what I'm saying? Then it's another, let's see, I got one more situation where somebody did, I'm trying to remember this one, where she used to do weird stuff like pop up in my house. And you know, again, being out here at the bar, drinking, not paying attention to the quality of women. Oh, Jesus. She used to pop up at my, at, at my house and ring the doorbell and like, man, what what the hell are you doing here? And you don't want me coming out? You can't, we not together. You can't just, can't just pop up at this motherfucker. You know, you can't do that. So eventually I had to distance myself from her but just not answering the phone, not going around. So, yeah, that stalking shit can be serious. But if you look at me, I ain't read about no motherfucker walking up, running up on me. I don't look like I play no games. So they know I ain't play no games, but still, they wouldn't. Did go they? Away. Did they? Because they were showing up at the damn bar where you said. Well, they were showing up at the bar. Yeah. Well, they, they probably would have jumped on it if I was in another woman's face. They probably would have came there trying to fight. You know what I'm saying? But I wasn't. I'm like, man, I'm not committed to none of y'all. But now that I'm older, I'm a little little selective of who I talk to and I watch behavior. You know what I'm saying? You can have a beautiful face, but if your behavior don't match, you know what I'm saying? Your, your face, well, I said that about me. You can have a beautiful face, but if you don't know how to act or you're doing crazy stuff, I don't want to be bothered. You know what I'm saying? Your mental got to match your beauty. Some Absolutely. people can be beautiful and they mental suck. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, that taught me a lesson. That's probably why also, I'm not married now. 
I hope you're not uh, so quick to take people to your crib or let them know where you live now because these hoes be popping up. Well, that was, you know, the, the 90s was a little different than it is now. A little different. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They weren't coming to personally do harm to you. They just wanted your attention. That's what it was. And when they can't get your attention, they like, well, I'm finna just go in front of him. Shit, I'm finna pop up. When they didn't know, that pushed me further away rather than um, help the situation, so. Wow. Yeah, I, 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 I never, I never did any of this. It's just, um, and I don't know any, any women that, that would admit, cause I'm not gonna say they ain't never did it. Maybe they just have not admitted they did this type of stuff. I just don't know anybody that's just showing up to a man's house. Like, what you doing? Like, I don't. Shit, that's why that girl made that song back in the day. I smashed the windows in your car. Well, no, that's not why she made that song. He was a cheater. Yeah. And a womanizer. And he right. was a man. Hey, and she, that's guys, why she was the windows it's some out. Guys that, some guys that got they went to smash out. They wasn't doing nothing. She was Agreed. a stalker. Agreed. Agreed. You know what I'm saying? Focus. Well, according to them. Oh, shoot. Did they <laughs> do Oh gosh! Listen, um, that wasn't the nineties. <laughs> Black King was kissing. He ain't never had those problems. Thank God. Listen, I think. Um, hey, Wap City, how you feeling, love? Welcome. Hello. This your first time here. Welcome, Thank welcome, so welcome. Much. Thank you so uh, much. Thank you, thank you, Wap City. You come in, blessing us. We appreciate you. This is the After Party Podcast where your host is Kim and Portia. Thank you, Jay Hardaway. We appreciate thank you, Jay. you. Yeah, I'm going to step down. Okay. Thank you, baby. I'll let y'all. say um, tap that because our initials are T-A-P. So tap, tap, tap in. Tap on the host box. Help us reach our like and goal, which is 30K a day. We are at 21 point. One, we're here Monday through Friday from 9 to 11 Eastern, giving y'all this good, good, good free content every day uh, for two hours. And today is Topic Thursday, and we're talking about stalkers, okay? So if you got a story, the boxes are open. Come on up and tell us about your stalkers. Or had you, have you been a stalker? <laughs> have you been a stalker? It's no judgment here. We all have a sorted past. Um, yeah, I don't really have... Okay, Wop City, let's go. Come on. What's up, y'all? How y'all doing? Wonderful. How you I'm doing? Amazing. How are you? I am doing amazing. So, yeah, I got a story about a stalker. Okay. Hello. All right. So, um, first of all, I'm Wop City. I'm from South Florida. And um, my, stalker's, my stalker's name was Brianna. Um, there was spring break. I think I was in 10th grade. And... She liked me, and I liked that she liked me. I don't think I had a crush on her, but I was cool with it. It was spring break coming up, and I feel like we could, you know, smash and chop it up for spring break. Um, so that's what we were doing. You know, she would come to my house. I would be recording music with my friends, and we would smash. She would go on her way, and I would chill with my friends and continue to record music. When we went back to school, I'm thinking, okay, spring break's over. This is over. Okay. But it wasn't. She was coming to each of the classes that I had, which we never discussed my school schedule. And she was bringing candy bars and stuff like that. The, the stuff I would buy every day, which I didn't never tell her that I was buying, she would be putting it on my desk before my class started. Yeah. She would skip some of her own classes to wait for me to get out of class or come to my lunch because we had two separate lunches. Stuff like that. All right, so cool. I say, you know what? This girl really likes me. Let me, you know, show her some attention, right? We go to the flea market. Now, mind you, we're not together or whatever. So we go to the flea market. I'm thinking we're having fun. Back in these times, the flea market was like going to the mall with your friends, except for the ghetto virgin. Mm -hmm. So, boom, I'm in the flea market. I see some, I ain't going to call them hoes. I'm going to say I see some other women that are very attractive. And I'm talking to them. I'm chopping it up. I'm eating a mango salad, having a good old time. She um separated from me and she went to a tattoo booth i don't know if you guys are familiar with that but she went to a tattoo booth okay so i'm like okay i find her i'm still eating my mango salad i'm like oh what you getting on your back probably like a tramp stamp stars you know something like that no my real name is cashmere 
and she got the entire thing on the bottom of her on the lower part of her back where a tramp stamp should be she got it there she got it in bold black cursive writing and it and it was nice i'm not gonna lie my name looks good but uh yeah so she went and did that so i didn't know what she was doing i just was like um so what do you get and she was like you gonna see so when she finally showed it to me i was like oh shit like I guess my reaction didn't give her what she wanted, so she started to cry about that. I said, okay, this this is crazy. You probably need to get, like, a panther or something to cover that up. Like, you know, this is too much for me. I'm going to, like, fall back. Falling back for me was okay, but not for her. So she started doing more pop-ups at school. She stopped coming to school, um, but she started to do more pop-ups. I took the city bus home, and one day I'm riding the city bus, she decides to be in the back of the bus that I'm riding. She waited for me. I guess she rode the route a couple of times. And um, she was like, so you don't want me? So you don't want me? I'm turning around like, who the hell is saying that? It sounds like somebody I know. She was like, Cash, you don't want me? And uh, we ended up fighting on the bus. Yeah, she, she, attacked, she attacked me. <laughs> and I, don't, I try not to because I'm the masculine presenting person in my relationship. You know, mm -hmm. I take on that role and I don't want to put my hands on a female, but at the end of the day, I'm a bitch, you a bitch, we finna fight. So <laughs> we on the bus fighting, the bus comes to a stop because of all of the commotion and then we hit the ground. So now we rolling around, going at it or whatever. I'm thinking after this fight and she gets beat up, she's gonna leave me alone. No. So fast forward a little bit, uh, me and my mom are out and we're uh, shopping for, she She does like crafts and stuff. So I don't know if y'all know about Michaels and Joann's and stuff yeah. like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. yeah, but she was she was shopping and I was just tagging along. So the girl is blowing up my phone, hundreds of text messages over and over and over. So I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna block her. I'm gonna leave this alone, I'm gonna block her. She's texting me stuff now that's becoming alarming before I block her. She says, I can't wait till you get home, I'm in your closet. I can't wait till you get home. I'm in your closet. She was saying that over and over. And I'm like, oh my God. Now she's saying she loved me and shit like that. So now I'm telling my mom and she's like, are you still fucking this bitch? Because that's what it's giving. Right. It's giving that you're still fucking her and something wrong. Now, mm -hmm. I did go back and regress a few times and smash her, like maybe two or three times. After but the I, tattoo? After the tattoo. Okay. Yeah, I, I after did. After the bus I, fight? What? After the bus fight. Oh, shoot. So you <laughs> liked what she was giving? No, the, the toxicity was bad. I do mm -hmm. like what she was giving, but only one part of what she was giving right. was really. Yeah, yes. exactly. So, boom. I pull up to the house. Well, me and my mom pull up to the house because now she like, man, fuck crafts. She pull up to the house and um, she's standing outside. Like, we have a, a gated community. She's standing outside of the gate with a knife. I don't know what she planned to do with that knife. I don't know what she was going to do, but um, I told her, like, you need to leave, put it down. My mom gets upset. She calls the police or whatever, and they forced me to put a restraining order on her so that she wouldn't come within these many feet of me or whatever. So um, that didn't bother her at all. She continued to stalk me. Mm -hmm. It didn't bother her one bit. She started to... Um, she started to do things that got worse and worse. Like I would have a studio session or something. She would pop up at the studio and cause commotion, causing, you know, me to lose money because the studio people kicking me out. So, um, yeah, like, you know, at that time you pay per hour or whatever. I don't know what they do now, but, you know, she's coming, causing commotion. They're like, I don't care. You forfeiting the money. You and her got to get the fuck out. So um, how the whole story ended is uh, I'll fast forward some more. She ended up texting me saying that she got pregnant for us. Um, and <laughs> the, the faces y'all make it. She got <laughs> pregnant for us. Um, that's the same face that I had, my mom had when I told her, because how do you get pregnant for us without me being involved at all? And I also can't get anyone pregnant. So you did this on your own. Um, and that's where the, I guess, the delusion stopped. Her mom got involved when she was pregnant. Thank God her mom got involved and was kind of like forcing her to grow up and be like, you're a mom now. You got to like change your behavior, leave that girl alone, this, that, and the third. Yeah. So, yeah, that's when she finally left me alone. She tried to find me later on on, um, on Facebook, but I didn't have a Facebook until Monopoly Go came out. I was an Instagram head, so didn't matter. Um yeah, so that's that's how that story went. That's my stalker. Shout out to Rihanna. 
Nice oh, girl. Shit. No, shout out. Out. You want to don't shout her out. Listen. She don't um, like, oh, still want me. Let me cash. <laughs> Uh, so first I want to say my daughter's nickname is Cash as well. So shout hey. out to Cash it's all over the world. But anyway, um, <laughs> you should write a book. I'm telling you. you need to I ain't even try, I ain't even trying to be funny. Like, I <laughs> feel like um, you should write a book. I think it would be a bestseller. I'm actually writing a book that's going to be full of my erotic poetry and short stories, but I was thinking about something else based on my Don't life. Put Rihanna in it because then she's gonna be like, I knew she loved me, and she'd be right back to her stalking ways, girl. Don't put her in it. I, I don't plan to put her in anything. <laughs> I, I haven't said her name in years, but when y'all said we're talking about stalkers, that's the first thing that popped into my mind. I'm like, yo, her tattoo is still on her body. I don't know how her new person is dealing with that. But, well, she um, probably said it's all about sweaters. <laughs> oh, <laughs> That's what I was saying. Well, she couldn't even get past with that because I'll be like, "Bitch, buy a sweater. You don't need to have it on your back. You need to figure <laughs> something else out." Like, right. Absolute said, "Don't get hard <laughs> But yeah, man, I appreciate y'all letting me on the platform. That was we my appreciate story. Appreciate you coming, um, and we hope you come back. Yeah, absolutely. Man. I had a great time. I'm getting down now, y'all. All right, thank you so much. Thank you for okay. sharing. Uh, oh my God. Listen, that's Leo crazy. Said, right, Leo said, sorry for the stalker, but I feel like low-key, you like the toxicity as he well. Is, she did say that. She said the toxicity yeah. was real. Yeah. Uh, like Candyman say her name three times. DP said, please don't keep please saying do my pop say up. name. Jesus. Oh, God. The music man, who is this pretty little thing mm. in this picture? So precious. Well, <clears throat> that's my daughter. Good morning. How old is, is she? She was um that's that's my twelve year old. She was like um three at the time. Oh oh at the time. I, I was at gonna time. say, God damn, the music man. <laughs> <laughs> you said I enjoyed the cat and I was young and dumb. Hey, listen, we all been that we cat. We all have been, been all there. Been there. <laughs> okay, no judgment. Okay. None at all. Um I'm well, so I, got a, I, got a, I got a story to tell. When I um, when I came to Dallas, when I came to Dallas in 2005, so this was um, yeah, this was this was in 2005. Mm -hmm. So um, you know, I came here right before Katrina, and it was um, my 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 um, my 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 girlfriend at the time, her job had a contingency plan. So they moved, she went to work in Buffalo and um, I was down here with our kids and my nephew, but I went in the convention center and they was buying free one-way tickets. So they flew me out to Buffalo to go spend some time with her. And on the way back, um, I had to stop off in Atlanta. So I'm sitting there waiting to get called to get seated. Man, I see this, this was like, to me, the finest woman in the airport. And I'm like, damn, this thing fine as a mug. So I get on the plane and lo and behold, who comes on the plane? She does. So she walked to the back. Who she sit next to? She sitting next to me. Now we on a plane with her. She, she, she out of Oak Cliff. If y'all know anything about Dallas, Oak Cliff is just straight hood. So, um, we on the plane and she just loud white folks this white folks that she come with her own food on the plane man we laughing our ass off so we talking i let her know you know i got old lady i got kids and all this other stuff but i ain't gonna lie to you at baggage claim i couldn't i couldn't leave there without getting her number so she gave me the number and um i ain't know nothing about dallas at that time but one time she let me know where she lived at and I just happened to live like 15 minutes away from there. So I go over there a couple of times. And um, the last, no, not the last time. One time I went over there, um, I used to get off at midnight. So I go over there after work about one o'clock and I'm chilling. And um, I got ready to leave and I gave her a hug. And when I gave her a hug, I reached under her skirt to give her a hug and I noticed she ain't had no panties on. 
So um, I altered my course. I, I, look, at the, at the same time that I noticed that and I walk in the bedroom, my girlfriend called the phone. So I, I, um, I, I silenced, I silenced the ring. And then after that, I cut my phone, the ringer all the way off and her and I did our thing. And, um, man, I, I, I was, I was horrible at that time. Cause when we finished, I had 36 missed calls from my girlfriend, but by the time I called my girlfriend on the phone, I had I had flipped the script on her and went off on her for calling me that many times like she was crazy. I told her, you know, I bought a co-worker home and we started talking about Madden and I went in there and we was playing the game and all this other stuff. So, you know, I and l- let me tell you, I wound up I wound up marrying her. But then I had to be real with her and. You know, wait, time out. You married your girlfriend? Married my girlfriend. And yeah. which one was the stalker? And what gaslight her? But okay. every I'm, no, I'm about to tell you. But but well, I just thought about this. I married my girlfriend, but then I dissolved the marriage. I left the marriage alone. I told her because we had been messing with each other since we was in high school. And honestly, like I was able to, I was able to talk myself out of any situation with her, like any cheating situation. I was able to talk my way out of it. And I told her, I said, look, you don't deserve to be treated like this because I feel like I ain't going to never stop cheating on you. You deserve to be with somebody that is is going to be faithful to you. And she didn't understand that at that time. But it was like three years later, you know, she came to me and she said, you know what? It was hard for me to take at that time, but I really appreciate you doing that and saying that because um, I met the best man that I could have ever met in my life. Now, let's go back to the woman who house I was by. Um, I think we only had sex like two or three times. This woman told me, I can't have sex with you no more because if you if we do, I'm going to want to break up your family. So um, I left her alone. I didn't just leave her alone for that. I left her alone because one night I was on my computer at home and I see that my old lady at the time had got the lady phone number off our Verizon bill and pulled up the lady name and had her address and had MapQuest directions to the lady house and everything. So it was like I had a stalker on a two way street because my 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 girlfriend was stalking, trying to see what I was doing. And then the other lady was talking about breaking up my family. Jesus, the hell is happening in this scenario? Because (laughs) it sounds like instead of stalking, you was just leading them both on and then they was mad at each other because you was playing them yeah and you know what i had always didn't i i had always did that for the longest i don't do that no more i'm single i do what i want you know but at that time like say growing up whenever i had a girlfriend i never just had a girlfriend i always growing up had a side chick on the side oh damn well so so this is not a stalker story this is really a cheater story no, no, this woman, this woman, she was going to stalk me. And I thought she was playing like she, if you would have saw the woman, going to stalk you, she had threatened to stalk you. Yeah, she threatened to stalk oh, me. Okay. Yeah, she, <laughs> she, she threatened to stalk me. But I, but I did it that I ain't gonna lie. I still think about it to, to this day. And she was, she was old at the time. I was 37 and what the? She was 37. No, I was 37 and she was 45 at the time. So I had never messed with a woman that was that old. And I thought an older woman was going to be a chill woman. But when she was talking about breaking up my home, I'm like, damn, the older woman, just like the younger woman, she trying to break up my home and she tripping off of, you know, us having sex and all this other stuff, you know? 
I, I think he was younger at the time, Jen. Yeah, he's saying she was older than he was. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She was older. She was older. Uh, thank you, Clara. Clara, you broke Clara up said home. you broke up your mom because you was you was doing the most. And that's why I was saying this is not really a stalker story. You was playing with this lady and she was like, if you keep playing with me, this was about to happen. She was just letting you know that I'm about to make things bad for you, sir. Yeah. So you can't be doing that. You can't be be better. Be good. No, I'm, no, let me tell you, I'm good now because since I've been divorced, like every like you know, I'm dating and all this other stuff. But anytime I meet somebody and we be like, okay, this is just you and I, and we're in a relationship, I cut off everybody, you know. And them them situations may not have lasted, and you know, it's it's right. it's a little hard to um to get that to get that roster back up and but you know i just deal with it no i'm you looking at like that. That? You, no, you want I'm, oh, I'm, I'm saying it like this i'm the i'm the type of person like i'm a great multitasker and um it are just you great? are you talking about in relationship because you no, I'm not talking about in relationships. Oh, I'm just okay. talking, this is about in, okay, I'm sorry. I'm talking about in dating. Unless I'm dating exclusive, you know, a, a, a man or woman have the right to um, talk to multiple people, you know, and that's what I do. Yeah. Can. <laughs> oh. Okay. Can on, bro. <laughs> I can't with y'all. I can't. No, Hatio. These people. <laughs> yeah, <I'm laughs> don't listen up. to them, the music man. No, don't I'm, not listen listen. To them. I'm, I'm not listening to them because the whole while they saying that, look at what my daughter doing them in the background. Period. Okay. Period. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Thank you for God. sharing the music man. Thank you, man. Thank you so man. much. It's, it, listen, y'all, be nice. It's difficult to come up here and tell y'all stories oh, and to admit y'all's wrongdoings. That is doing the most. They it have been doing the most or do listen to us. Jen. <laughs> okay. Jen. Um, oh, shit. Skylina. I thank y'all for the 30k real quick. Woo woo woo! <laughs> thank y'all. Thank now, let's get the rest of these live fests. Okay, we got a thousand to get. We got four, four, four right now. I'm gonna need y'all to help us. We got less than 30 minutes. Thank y'all so much. They're only one cent. Um, teamwork make the dream work. Period. Sky, how can I help you? First of all, y'all are disrespectful. I just want y'all to know that. Well, anyway, go on, well, so what I was going to say is the chat is a whole different show. Don't read the chat when you in the box, okay? Because we going to chat. The chat is going to chat. And what the viewers are in the <laughs> chat are not coming down my face. Did y'all see me crying from laughing at y'all in this chat? What is wrong with y'all? The chat is a the chat is an extension of the show. Um, it has nothing to do with y'all up here. Please, please, please but continue. The, chat, the views in the chat are of the chat. They are not the views of the chat platform. Yeah. Please know, okay? We <laughs> well, so I was crying laughing because I couldn't hold it together. Somebody said the man, Lord Jesus, I'm so, I can't, they said the man sound like he was <laughs> God, get the fuck off the now, damn thing. Get the hell out. Bye, guys. Block me, Don't drop me. And I couldn't hold it together since I saw that. Since I read that comment that he was sniffing the stuff since, I could not hold it together. <laughs> I, it was, <laughs> what is wrong with y'all? Why do y'all do these things? <laughs> Thank y'all so much. So, okay, so in the music man's defense, he felt that the young lady was going to become a stalker. And I just simply had to explain to him that, oh shit, J Music said we are Martians. Anyway, I just simply wanted to explain to him that, um, no, he was playing with them. It's not that the lady was a stalker, but she was letting him know that he was about to fuck around and find out. 
that is allergy season oh it's cold and flu season you people and the music man has been in the chat before and wasn't sniffling so i'm assuming the man got a cold or he been crying all night i don't know which one but y'all leave him alone <laughs> what is wrong with y'all <laughs> DP said, ain't no defending it. I, okay, fine. Fuck it. I tried. I did my best. The music man, they said you brought it on yourself. You brought it on yourself. Now, see, this is the reason why we got five motherfucking regulars. Because y'all is. Y'all gonna let us be great and make new friends. Like, damn. <laughs> Also, y'all have to know that there is a whole hazing that happens in the chat. And you got to be strong to survive. Only the strong survive. And I believe in you. I oh, look at Blossom. Blossom. He said, I've been reformed. That's what's up, the music man. I Listen, know you have. I know you have, baby. And that's what I was trying to say to these crazies. The music man said he didn't think about y'all asses. At all, um, period. And gonna still keep coming. But also, he was, he, also, baby, you were sniffing a lot. Do you have a cold? Because it was making my nose run. Damn. Damn. <laughs> Unnecessary. Unnecessary. Oh. J Music said, a chair is not a chair if the music man ain't sitting there. I cannot. <laughs> Thank you, Mia. What do you do, boo? Hello, good morning, my lovelies. She about to come in here and tell us that she ain't crazy while being crazy. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Kia, uh, you ain't never stalked nobody. No. And you ain't never been well, then What the hell you come up here for then? Because I wanted to say, welcome back, Blossom. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> well, that's a good reason. That's a good reason. Oh. <laughs> okay. Kelly so says, shit. music man, be grateful that women communicated to you about what happened. You was warned. Exactly. Uh, Darren said, I ran Black Moses off. I'm sorry. Oh. Darren, I can't. We can't never have friends. Well, that's true. And Black Moses. Hi, Elroy. Elroy here? He oh, is. Hi, honey. Get up here and tell us your stalker story. I know Elroy had been stalked. Oh, DP said, I'm going to the corner, sit and face it. Yeah, because I think you... Get up here and tell us your stalker story. She said oh, she stalked someone dude. with and for someone. <laughs> Lord Jesus. Now, I've been writing a few capers with my friends, but I wasn't really stalking anyone. We just called them running a caper. So, you know, we might... That probably running a caper. She stalked someone... And for my friend, we were 17. Wait, you stalked someone for your friend. Okay, that's a little different, I feel like. Mm, I don't know. That's a little different. You was looking out for your friend. Someone okay, made that's different than doing it yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, good fella. We appreciate you saying that it's a beautiful class. We we do our best around here. What in this? Yeah, we used to run a caper. We we called it running a caper. So, um, for instance, damn, this gonna make me sound crazy. Anyway, I had this friend. It the shoes. I had this friend that we was on again, off again, basically since high school. Uh, Elroy. Will. That's what I said. Absolutely. What is capers? What are you saying? I'm about to tell y'all what the caper was. What is a caper? So I had this friend and um I wanted to reconnect, but I no longer had the number. But we grew up together, so I knew where he lived and um, and so my friend, we were sitting there talking about it and <laughs> thank you, Capri. She said, that's a DC term. And we were sitting there talking about, it. I was like, I really want to reconnect, whatever, but you know, I don't have his new number. And, um, my girlfriend was like, I'm going to the ladies room. She came back with her purse and was like, come on, we're going to run a caper. 
And so then we rolled back past the dude house. I knew where he lived, but I didn't remember the address. So I needed to get the address so that I could send him a letter. So we rolled past his house at nighttime in the dark, dressed in all black. We ran a caper. So Keisha said that's a heist. Thank you, Caprice, for trying to define. Well, we didn't whatever. steal anything. A heist is when you steal something. We ain't steal nothing unless you count on stealing the address. We just went over there. Capers would be shenanigans, modern day shenanigans. Uh, yeah. She said they dressed in all black like ninjas too. <laughs> Lord. Kid, you came back to because you remember that you did run a caper once. <laughs> so okay. Okay, so I'm a I'm I'm a type of friend. If you call me at 4 a.m., I'm the first thing I'm gonna say, do we need to hide a body? Oh sure. And then after that, whatever happened after that is you gonna happen. You know to hide bodies, Kia? Yes, she do. I told y'all she crazy. Exactly. That's very telling in itself that you a little crazy. What's happening? But because I was a headhunter, I have an excellent set of research skills. I can literally find a needle in a haystack when it comes to information on people. My friends used to joke and call me the president of the Negro Reporting Agency. Yeah. You'll be coming up with shit and like the president of the Negro Reporting Agency. <laughs> Yeah, that's what she said now. To, to this day, I get, people be like, hey, I was trying to find this person. They owe me 50 cents. <laughs> like, oh, what? Mommy <laughs> said, how do you go from not stalking to unaliving? How? Houseway. No, I'm just talking Welcome about my friend to hide Welcome. a body mama. <laughs> I personally haven't needed to hide a body. I'm just yeah. saying. If we need be, Keisha said, "Who don't I know?" I do how not know how it. Keisha comment got through without being filtered. <laughs> <laughs> I do not know how that comment got through without and Mama be getting being blocked filtered. all the time. I'm so confusion. It's a lot happening. Um, Kia and my son can go into business. Clearly. <laughs> Um, the Jenkins in her. That's the Jenkins in her. <laughs> Lord Jesus. Um, I do have a I don't really have here. no stalker stories because, um, yeah, I, I don't really have no stalker stories, really. I know I don't have stalker stories is because <laughs> they couldn't, they didn't know who I was. Y'all know I was in the Navy for 10 years. So when I would go out, I had a club name, and when I, 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 was, I lived on the ship, I would give them the wrong name. So when they would call the birthing for me, so this is before we had like actual cell phones. So when they would call for me, I could hear them calling like my club name. However, it would never be me, you know? So I just always had different names that I used when I went out. So, and I would, ride that thing to the even if i was dating a, a guy but again i was very single i had a roster when i was single i was single and yeah so there's that so you know it couldn't be a stalker situation because they couldn't really find me they didn't know who i was really so you were dating someone with a you were dating uh multiple someones and you would give them the wrong name yeah, the yeah. entire time yeah and the whole so time what, what happens if you ended up liking them because now you've been lying nah it never happened you i never told you i was going to write them. what you say now you never end up liking them I mean, like, I like them enough to go out on dates and things like that, but never enough to be. When, when, I'm telling you, when I was. Tell us yes. the fuck truth. <laughs> I mean, I don't even know, but she's been lying to us the whole goddamn time. My name is Kia. I'm about to it's, call you. Well, Kia is my middle name. So. Welcome back, Elroy. Welcome back. 
That's a role of a government official. Oh, shit. <laughs> we don't know her, Blossom. We don't know her. Every, she keep coming up in here and revealing some more crazy. You know, then we had the five characters when she went to court. Was that really? I don't think I, re I revealed anything crazy today. Let me go do yeah, some this research. This is fucking crazy here. that you was dating motherfuckers and giving them the wrong name <laughs> for on and on and on. That's fucking crazy, girl. No, Keisha said, let me go do some research on Kia or whatever your name is. Deborah <laughs> said, and y'all got me in court for what? selling soap and we don't know her name. Hello, oh, good morning. We don't know your name. <laughs> That's a family of strangers, okay? Put it on the docket. No, I already been on the docket. There are multiple hers. There <laughs> exactly. are. Oh, Good but morning. She was on the docket more than once. Did Kia pay her fine? Oh yeah, Kia. Did you see your sentencing? Thank you, Theo, for reminding us. Yes, yeah, we need morning. we need that. What what was my sentencing? You your mean? sentencing was you either can pay a fine if you don't want to perform two galaxies, that would be your fine, or you can perform your dom situation. Uh -huh. Oh. <laughs> is you in bed? No, I'm in my I'm in my um my ladies' lounge. Uh, we okay. want we want a community demo of Kia, uh, what I don't know her name, but her name, that one name. We want to see her show up for five minutes. Jen said my ex sister in law was a stalker extraordinaire. Okay, uh, Caprice, you've been missing in action. We now have oh, court on Fridays. Game. The devil. That's you my know, cat. He's the, the cat's ass. Anyway, we now have. Um, <laughs> oh, that's a good point. Good morning. You guys okay. said good morning, Hannibal. Girl, we don't like cats. Anyway, um. <laughs> We have court on Fridays, and she was found guilty of her um, transgressions. And so now she has to pay up or shut up. <laughs> if you talking, why are you missing with Oh, shit. He's a Good sweet. morning, big boy. Kia, we don't want to see that cat. We don't want to see the cat, girl. <laughs> Nobody likes the cat, baby. Are you going to do your sentencing or no? You ain't got to do it today, but you got to do it. I, I will pay the fine. Oh, you're not going to okay. show us the dime stuff? Okay, that's cool. The fine is two galaxies, so um, whenever you want to drop them. Not whenever. It, it has to happen this week. So the name is Caddy Kia. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Leave it to hey queen. Hey, hey queen. What it do, boo? Um, listen, Darren hey, said it's the cat's name is actually Kia. Oh, yes. Um, so we found out <laughs> that uh, Miss Kia Caprice, is in you have um, the lifestyle, and mm -hmm. um, yeah, you've been missing a lot. We had a whole demonstration over there in Discord, you missed that too. So, you know, you you subs, y'all gotta be active. Yeah, apparently, a lot of us are part of the kink community. Uh, didn't know it. Did not know it. We had a whole listening, which lifestyle, the kink community, um, dominatrix, submissives type stuff, whatever. I ain't putting her out there, she put her own damn stuff out here. And Kia put herself out. I mean, we all put ourselves out. We was all Jen said out. her ex sister in law was on Jerry Springer for stalking. Ooh. Well, get your hey. ass up here and tell us the story. Oh, hold Thank on, let you, me drop it. We need to hear Thank this. you to everybody that's been gifting. We appreciate Thank you. Jen, get your ass up here and tell us the damn story. Are you at work? Maybe she at work. Us, are you at work yet? Are you getting ready? What's happening? Maybe yeah, at work. I'm just a baby maker, not a kink. Boy, Nigga, you a kink. You Your kink is making babies. Exactly. I like putting babies in you. That's the kink, nigga. Oh, shit. Let me put a baby in you. <laughs> uh, yes. Come on, Jen. Yeah. Theo is extra shady. Okay. 
I love it. Theo <laughs> with the shits. Hey, Jen, girl. Hey. Hey, Jen. Hey. How are you? Wonderful. Um, how you doing? I'm good. It's snowing today, so I don't know how good I'll be later today, but right now I'm good. Oh, Lord. In California? In Oregon. She in Oregon. Oh, I thought she was. Why I keep thinking? Oh, because she oh, said yeah. what? It's, it's, it's snowing. Oh, wow. Yes. So my ex-sister-in-law. Um, okay. So her, so her husband, and that's how she was my sister-in-law. Her, my ex was her husband's brother or okay. my, my, their, my ex and her husband were brothers. Sorry. I said that wrong. Yeah. So, um, so that's how, how I even got to know her and he, he stepped on her, messed around on her. And of course she found out where this person lived and she's like, Hey, I need you to do me a favor. And can you just ride with me? And I was like, all right. At the time when we left, I did not know where we were going. Like she was like cr crazy fun. And so, you know, you never knew what you were getting into. So it was like, kind of, eh. you felt like, yeah, this is going to be super, super awesome. And at the same time, you're like, I may have to make a call and go to jail. Um, so, so I went with her and, but this girl literally went into, she picked some, this person's lock, went into her apartment when she was sleeping. I did not go in there. She went into the, <laughs> picked the lock. She took pictures of the girl and got in her ear and of course told her what she was going to, you know, was going to beat her ass, all the things. And I'm like, now that is, that is actually technically stalking. I mean, like, breaking and entering, it's all kinds of things, right? So, so she came back out and she showed me the picture and I'm like, yeah, why, why do you bring me for shit like this? I don't want any part of this. So then somebody had called in, like a family member called in to Jerry Springer and she was happy to go on Jerry Springer and they came to our town because she lived here at the time, came to our town, like recorded her doing some stuff stupid stuff like hiding behind a bush yeah this is what i do and i could and i'm like why would you be happy about that that's yes, crazy on, the confused look you have on your face right now is how i felt literally every time i was around this person but like you said she was crazy fun so i mean to a point because at a certain point you know like you have to say yeah no i can't go with you Right. I have a family. I don't know what you got going on here. I don't want any part of it. So you need to figure that out. So at first, you know, you didn't know what she was going to do. And then after a while, after she, I mean, she like, she really like turned when, or, you know, she flipped when he messed off on her, which, okay, I get it, but that doesn't mean you get to go break the law. No, you right. don't get to break the law, but also, hey, he fucked him so, on the bounce. And I mean, absolutely, absolutely. And I, I may or may not have believed it until she literally brought me and showed me. She's like, here, I was just all in that bitch's face. And I'm like, oh. Oh, wow. She does. <laughs> well, speaking of that, I do have a girlfriend who was known to crawl in people's windows and fight them. Oh, yeah. I, yeah. I'm actually surprised. That sounds crazy. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm actually surprised that because this person also, she would have no problem getting in a fight. And, and I was actually surprised that she didn't like, you know, like in her sleep late, you know, I'm surprised she didn't like, you know, hit her, do something. I mean, because she was right there in her face. Exactly. Let me tell you something. My cousin, who is a serial cheater, he ne he said he never take any witnesses he was like ain't nobody gonna be with me when i'm out here doing my thing he said he don't need none of that so can't nobody ever be like yeah i was with him he he never take any accomplices with him <laughs> i mean it makes sense but i'm, I'm curious real quick before we get out of here is that really stalking if you've been cheated on repeated or cheated on in general and now you like looking everywhere like you on your man's heels or woman's heels is that considered stalking like can you is it still stalking your mate 
if you just now i think it's stupid don't get me wrong Capri said no. So that's just investigating. Right. Like, but why you shouldn't have to be doing all that in no relationship? Like, that's ridiculous. But I understand, Yo, you know. Oh, revenge, good fella said. Revenge? You trying to catch them in the act? Or are you trying to track everything they doing to make sure they don't cheat again? Like, I don't know. Is it being a stalker? It's still stalking. You are doing the same activities. Agree, Mocha. Exactly. Especially if you're looking for the chick. To our house. Oh, God. Caprice. Yes, um, Caprice. Don't put the delete. But, um, <laughs> yes, Caprice. Um, if you're looking for the chick and right. then you stalking her, you showing up at her house and all that stuff, and she called the police on you, your ass is going to jail. Well, yeah, that's trespassing and stuff. I get that. But are you technically stalking? because you're in a relationship with this person well are you stalking them are you checking for them or are you doing what caprice said look you didn't look for the woman's address and went there like that i think that is stalking if you investigating your guy then maybe that's not stalking but she went to the lady house I Ken, you then came back before you sent, sent okay. in your uh payment no okay <laughs> what you want, girl? girl. No, no, I would. No, I get. Okay, so I guess I do have like one. I'm not, okay. Again, I don't think any of the things that I do is crazy. So look, that's a well, disclaimer. That's so, what a crazy person would say, Kia. <laughs> yeah. You know, when you when you have to lead with a disclaimer. Right. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. But one of, one of the funny. Okay, so one thing. Okay, so back in the day, I'm gonna say back in the day because I have. Okay, up until about two years ago. <laughs> okay, because I had a reversion a little bit. The fact that she keeps saying, okay, is that me? <laughs> She's got to get it together. I know. Right, right. Because, look, I got to <laughs> really make this. Okay, I used to have a policy. I never got mad. I got angry. I got even. Uh-huh. And, okay, so. So, I, I, I'm not going to say, again, this is not a stalker. This is like, I think we need a Girl, different tell story, story about the craziest <laughs> thing you might have done to a man. Okay. So I was dating this dude and I discovered, okay, so he used to always come to my house and stay because I was, we were overseas. Anyways, I discovered that he was cheating. He was about to leave the country. So he, he left Italy and while he was, he stopped in Spain. Now at this point, I had discovered that he had a long-term girlfriend in the U.S. Mm -hmm. And so not only did he have this long-term girlfriend, she had like three best friends. And he had slept with all her best friends. Okay. And um, one of them um, had, had a, she got pregnant and she, you know, got rid of the baby. All of this while he's still dating this girl long term, right? Now he came, you know, we met and we're in this now a, a six month relationship when he leaves. And my, my, I, he, 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 what his punishment was because <laughs> I sent out an email um, on his behalf, um, basically said, my name is such and such. I am a dog. I think I'm a player, but I have no game. And then I went on to list all of the women that he was dating. I put myself in the in the body of the email. This is current love. This is person. This person had was pregnant and she had a baby. These people are friends. Like I put all of the information that everybody would know in this email. And then I sent it off. Right. So he didn't know this was happening to him because now he was he got on a plane in 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 spain and was flying to the u.s so when he landed all hell had broke loose but i had also changed the signature of his email that said i am a dog i think that i'm a player and i have no game so every email that he sent to try to clean it up had that signature attached to it and he never realized it Yeah. So he was a he was a principal. Uh, he worked at a school and how he really found out 
was the principal walked up to him with a copy of the email. <laughs> Okay. Um, well, we knew you was crazy. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. Yeah, all righty then. Um, <laughs> not the lost yes, files. Just right. <laughs> the lost files. Yes. Um, okay. Uh, right. Uh, welcome back, Elroy. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's 11.03. Um, I'm so glad the boxes are a hard place to be today. Yes, because the chat is going crazy. Okay. Um, Listen, I've been trying to tell the stories in a manner don't, don't make me look as crazy as I already know the story. Baby, sound. you ain't no way you can tell the story that we gonna think that, that you're not crazy. <laughs> we, we think you're crazy. I already you know you're crazy. Talking. I don't know. I um, already know this, Kia, so I don't know why you be trying to like Reel it back in. It's already been out. Darren said, what the hell, Kia, or whatever your name is. <laughs> Baby. Yo, <laughs> this has been fun. And um, thank you to everybody that was brave enough to come up in the box and tell your story because we do not take it lightly that you spend yeah, rough up here and that you're vulnerable and share your truth with us. Or not. Yes. And um, we do really appreciate. <laughs> For real. We tell. Because y'all are relentless down there in the chat. Which comments are, are trash. They are disrespectful. They are <laughs> annoying. And I don't understand how y'all expect me and Tan to be up here with our faces showing and keep a straight face with the shit y'all be saying. <laughs> I don't get <laughs> it. Like. Hey, you guys have a great day. I, I apparently thank have a Thank you so much, here. Jen. Thank you, Bye. Jen. Have an amazing day, honey. Uh, <laughs> we'll see. Blossom said, we aren't trash. We aren't trash. <laughs> it's just, y'all be doing this, and we got to read this and sit here in these people's face and be like, Mm-hmm. Y'all was going. Yeah, that is so true. If y'all was not going off in the chat, it would not be as fun. I mean, I think that me and Portia are hilarious, yeah. but also what makes it hilarious is some of the shit y'all be saying because we be uh, reading what the hell y'all saying. Shit, I, y'all like, I couldn't fun. hold it together today. Usually I got a good poker face. I think. No, uh, no. Okay. What the fuck yeah. you lying? You know, what the hell? <laughs> But I don't be trying to laugh at people's face, and y'all make you that so laugh, hard. You be laughing, all spitting in the camera, everything you be laughing at. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I mean, I know my face is be, because I can't hold water. I'm like, huh? <laughs> Anyway, this has been so fun. <laughs> Crying. What She's is crying? crying? I was just uh, like a lot of times. I was like, also, I was like, get to the point because sometimes y'all don't be getting to the point. Yeah, it'd it be a lot, y'all. Y'all, it is hard being in the boxes. Again, I want anybody that has been victimized or taken <laughs> um, advantage. <laughs> You've been victimized in the chat. Oh shit! I wasn't even gonna say that. I was gonna. <laughs> I was going to say, if you've been victimized in the chat, it is what it is. You on TT. I don't know what else to tell y'all. Like, it's ruthless in these streets. Uh, I ain't got nothing for you. But if you have been victimized by somebody in your life before um, via a stalker or something like that, you know, um, again, it wasn't your fault. It was nothing that you did necessarily. Or if you did do something, i.e. put it on them, um, but you were clear and <laughs> you were clear and you know you didn't want more and they still kept pursue um being persistent you know it becomes a dangerous situation and you guys just be safe out here like just be safe um it is very challenging being in these boxes and people to be vulnerable and tell their stories um so give people grace but also when y'all get in these damn boxes get to the fucking point okay <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> don't, be, don't be up here slow talking and doing the most. Like, oh let's, let's let's get to it. Okay. Um, we appreciate you. We love y'all. This has been an extended version. I have enjoyed this conversation.
thoroughly. Um, and please, yeah, them gravy, uh, red gravy curses. Listen, stop doing stuff to the man in the spaghetti. Um, and man, stop eating the damn spaghetti. When y'all gonna wise up? Eat spaghetti, eat it anyway. Um, also, go eat somebody today or suck on something. I don't know. Um, it's been a great edition of the After Party Podcast. I appreciate y'all. Thank you so much, Tam. Remember, the world has never met another you. Go out and be great in it. We love you guys. Thank you for 36,000 likes. Thank you for knocking out our gift and goal. Thank you for everything that you have done, everything that you have shared. Um, come back tomorrow for our Friday faves and also um, court because we will be in court. Court will be in session. You don't want to miss it. You don't want to miss it. If you have not been here for tap court, join us tomorrow. It yes. will be a great time. Oh, will. and Sky's joke of the day. We don't want to yes. forget that. Also, Tap we will have Sky's joke, joke of the, of the day, day tomorrow. tomorrow. And Friday faves first. Friday Whatever faves you first. To do. Um, yes, let's do it. Let, let's get them groceries. What? All warrants issue. Get over to Discord subs. Yes, all the subs get the Discord. Let's go over there and act the food like Mocha. Burgers. I hope you come back tomorrow because it's going to be a yes, time tomorrow. Friday, we really cut a fool. Yes. Have a great Thank day, guys. You. Love Bye. you.